And so it all comes down to this. Shots from the mark, if you like to be technical Let's for the terms. go. <laughs> I love it. Florida State, you have to imagine, comes in here extremely confident. They've advanced their last two rounds. And the last four times in the NCAA tournament, they've been yeah. in a shootout. They have advanced for Santa Clara, just the opposite. The last time the Broncos were there was 2018. They have failed to advance their last three. But these players, these teams, they're the ones to decide who will be a national champion. Best of five, back and forth we go. And Santa Clara is going to start us off. Julie Doyle, a senior, to start off this shootout for the Broncos. Three PK saves in shootouts already for Roque in this tournament. Doyle gets it for the first time. Florida State's opponent converts their first attempt in the shootout that hasn't happened the last two rounds. That is so huge, just to get that first one on the board. Julie Doyle taking a little while to get to that ball. Doesn't hit it too far to the right. But still a nice finish and a great confidence boost for Santa Clara. Clara Robbins has led off the shootout for Florida State in both the quarterfinals and the semifinals, converted them both. good in these PKs in the last two rounds. Just opened up a little bit too much. <laughs> and now a freshman for Santa Clara, Sally Menti, the West Coast Conference Freshman of the Year against the freshman in goal, Roque, for Florida State. Two for two. Minty giving a look back to Nicholas, saying you got this. You still get the feeling Roque's got a save in her. Guesses the wrong way on this. Menti calmly places it. It looks like she's going right. So you can see why Roque is thinking that and then pulls it back. <laughs> And you wonder what these Florida State shooters now, Santa Clara has had a chance to see them in the last two shootout, shootouts. Do they change yeah. what they try to do? Do they go a different way? Emily Madrill, the shooter for Florida State, has converted her first two attempts. you say that Jen because when they've seen you twice before you start to get in your head should I change do I need to push it a little harder do I need to push it into the side net a little more you're seeing them just miss and it could be a consequence of that because you do have that in the back of your head Kelsey Turnbow now that left foot so good it's not gonna miss and the pressure really on the Seminoles now Florida State cannot afford another miss. It was Gabby Carl's shot that won it in the semifinals from the spot that put Florida State in this 
this spot. And the Canadian international has to hit it now. Carl does keep Florida State in it. Solid, confident. Little stutter step. Try and get the keeper off her rhythm. Well, the Seminoles need some help now. Izzy D'Aquila can be the hero for Santa Clara. D'Aquila and Santa Clara, you are national champion! A national championship moment so long in the making. Heartbreak for a Florida State team that had been perfect in their previous two shootouts. But this one belongs to Santa Clara in front of their great alumni and fans who made the trip out here to carry North Carolina to celebrate this new era for Santa Clara. Uh, and what a wonderful chess match that turned out to be. Different formations different tactics, different looks, both teams, you could tell, giving it everything they had in what has turned out to be a long slog through COVID, through a pandemic, through a bubble, through it all, a great season for Florida State, but it took 20 years for Santa Clara, and they're back with that national championship. So many questions asked of all of us, of all of you, of all of these players during this season. They came into tonight with one left unanswered, and that was who would win a national championship. We now know for just the second time in program history, it's the Santa Clara Broncos.